campaign review. My name is Rebecca and I'm the founder of the Carrot Campaign. Today's product that we are going to review is Rebel Keto Ice Cream. This is high fat, low carb ice cream. For those who follow the keto diet, it is a great alternative because it is made without any sugar, high fructose corn syrup, or artificial sweeteners like uh, Splenda or uh, Aspartame. It's made with erythritol. So the flavors that we're gonna try today is natural vanilla, strawberry, and cookie dough. I didn't happen to see chocolate. They also had a salted caramel, a cookies and cream, and a mint chocolate chip. And overall, they tend to have a pretty low net carb. I'm gonna look at the food label. So looking at the food label, a half cup portion, which even me as a nutritionist, I feel like they should just change the portion size. Like honestly, a portion should be half of a pint. Let's just change it and just change the calorie count. But a traditional half cup serving is gonna give you 13 grams of fat, only 10 carbohydrates, two of which is fiber, and the rest is the erythritol. So there's no added sugar at all in this. It's got two grams of protein and your trivial amounts of vitamin A, calcium, and iron, which you would normally find in a milk-based ice cream. So um, for the whole pint, the vanilla is five carbs. Can you believe that? Like, wow. I hope it tastes really good because if, uh, if it does, then that'll be a real game changer for me. And with the cookie dough, it is six net carbs per pint, not per serving, per pint. So <laughs> when you look at the top, they have this label saying that Yummy things come to those who wait. Well, I certainly agree with that. I just hope it's yummy because I noticed this label similar was with Halo Top ice cream and I have to say, no thanks. Like the texture, the flaky, oh, it tastes like it had like oat powder in it. So I got nervous when I saw this. I hope this is not like Halo Top, but I also really like the, um, the Magnum Crackle ones, and they say you have to wait a few minutes for that one too. So I think it's becoming a trend with ice cream. Yeah, this one too. So you gotta wait 15 minutes. Why we're letting them soften, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like watching reviews like this, let me know if there's something you want me to try and I'll give you my expert opinion on it. Um, okay, and we'll be back in a few minutes. So like a proper foodie, I'm going to be trying out these ice creams with a plastic spoon because the metal spoon gets really cold and I feel that it can alter the full flavor of the chilled dessert. So. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start off with the natural vanilla. Nice and creamy. Mm, all right, let's see how it tastes. Oh my God. It almost feels like, and tastes like chilled Cool Whip. This really doesn't have any sugar. Wow, that is amazing. It's got a really nice vanilla flavor. Doesn't have like the little speckled vanilla beans, but it has that nice creamy classic. Fun fact, did you know that even though there's dozens of ice cream flavors out there in the world, the most popular and most voted best ice cream flavor worldwide is still classic vanilla. Who would have thunk it? Okay, next up is strawberry. Strawberry can be a very tricky cut flavor. Sometimes it can taste too chemically and processed. Let me look at the ingredients. Cream, water, erythritol, strawberries, and that's the fourth ingredient. Usually the first few ingredients is the most predominant ingredients in the product. 
So I wonder if it's bits of strawberries or a puree. Chicory root, egg yolk, milk protein, monk fruit, gar gar gum, xanthan gum. So it has milk and egg. All right, let's try strawberry. Mmm, smells good. Mmm, it's got a good strawberry scent. Check it out. All right, let's dig in. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. I really can't tell this from regular ice cream. I have to be, I have to tell you that kudos, like wow. This is the best alternative ice cream I think I've ever had. And last but not least for today's review is their Rebels Cookie Dough. Now I'm very curious about this one. I picked this one out because I didn't want to go crazy and bring home five or six. But cookie dough, you have to see like how those bits are going to be. Is it like the cookie part going to still be nice and doughy? Is it going to have that nice salt element that, you know, is so like, you know, a great characteristic in cookie dough? How are the chocolate chips? I wonder if it's made with lilies. Looking at the ingredients. It looks like the chocolate is also made out of erythritol. All right, so let's give it a whirl. Okay, off at the top. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Nice little chocolate chips. Mm. It is worth it if you let it thaw out. It has the perfect normal ice cream consistency. Maybe a bit fluffier, like with the vanilla. I told you it kind of tasted like I was eating frozen Cool Whip. So the only thing I'd say is a bit more whipped and fluffier, but it, it's not negative feedback. It's still really good. Okay, cookie dough. Mmm. I am amazed. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 2020 is gonna be a good year. <laughs> Alright, let me try a piece with actually cookie dough. Let's dig one out. Okay. Cheers! I don't know what to tell you. Like, I think this is my new favorite ice cream. They're only $7 a pint and like six grams of carbs, not sugar, carbs. So without having to try every single flavor that Rebel Creamery has to offer, in conclusion, I am giving this five out of five carrots. Like good job, like bravo. I think that is the best ice cream alternative I've ever had in my entire life. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that wraps up today's carrot campaign review. I'm going to go ahead and put their information in the description. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you want me to review any products, let me know in the comments. For our beloved food and all that's good, have a wonderful day from the carrot campaign.